Okay, so this is a medium question, um, a little bit harder than two-sum problem, but it flows nicely in, into three-sum problem from two-sum problem. So given an array of number of n integers, are there elements a, b, c, and num such that a plus b plus c equals zero? Find all the unique triplets in the array, which gives the sum of zero. Note, the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets. Um, as an example, given the array nums, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 4, a solution set is negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2. Uh, when they say it does not contain duplicate, tripl uh, duplicate triplets, that means uh, you can't have like negative 1, 1, 0. That's not um, unique triplets, right? The number, the elements in, in triplets needs to be unique so let's get into it um, so before two sum it was more like in terms of mathematical equation uh, it was doing a plus b equals c but in here we're doing a plus b plus c equals zero so it's still same concept um, still same concept right before we're adding two numbers to specific target now just think of it we're adding three numbers together to a specific target. Um, so complexity comes from um, being able to find all the unique triplets in the array. Um, before, um, it was, you can, um, the problem said that you can always assume that there'll be one unique uh, answer, one unique solution to this problem, but threesum uh, requires find all the unique triplets, um, unique triplet solutions for this particular problem. Okay. So first out of bat, when I see a plus a plus b plus c equals zero, um, I'm thinking terms of negative numbers and plus uh, positive number, right? Because like you can't add positive to positive to zero or negative to negative to zero, right? Well, what that means is it will help us tremendously if you're able to sort the number from negative to positive, um, you, and then you'll see why as we get uh, get more into it um, so from the from the solution set we can see uh, result needs to be an array and then each each uh, triplet needs to be another array so I'm just gonna say um, result as a result I'm gonna return and then current result is what I'm building building as I'm going on and then in this particular problem uh, if you're able to sort the number, like I said, a, b equals a minus b, um, this would um, sort number from least to greatest, meaning um, example here will be negative 4, negative 1, neg negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. This would help us uh, figuring out how to get to zero, right? Um, so for to solve this problem, we're gonna use um, uh, like a pointer called left and right. Um, left would uh, mark where uh, it would mark where we want to start calculating, and then the right would uh, start from the, the end of a uh, numbers array. For for example, for here we're gonna initialize left as negative four here, and then right as a negative two here because this is index zero, and this would be number uh, length at negative one, minus one. Um, to guess, so same thing as before. We're gonna loop through look through this array from index at zero and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, left equals i plus one and right equals nums dot length minus one reason for that is um, you can say i is our our current index we are starting from right so it's a three-sum problem we need 
three numbers to add up to zero. So we're going to use I, left, and right as our index um, pointers, um, as you can say. You're going to say let sum equals zero. And then um, just like um, you, would, you would solve a um, problem where trying to find Um, so we're going to start from uh, we're going to write uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to use while loop here to loop through between left and right um, as we can see from number li num uh, line number 9 we sort the number from least to greatest meaning uh, and then we assign left as i plus one and the right to be the last index of num numbers nums array meaning uh, left will be always less than right um, unless they're the number the index are greater so we only want to loop through the numbers once meaning left should stay smaller than the right all the time right or then we're gonna um, check more than we, what we need to so for here, then if this is condition is true, we're gonna start calculating our sum, which would be uh, our three sum, which would be um, index at numbers at index i, left, and right. So only when it's zero, we want to push the result into um, Only then we want to push the result. Um, so looks like we don't need we don't need this current result anymore because we're just gonna construct a new array each time this condition is met, and then we're gonna update the our our pointers because we found it. Now we we want to see um, at index zip i if there's any more unique pairs. Uh, unique elements, right? So since we push, we just push one. We update the uh, our boundaries, um, and then the next thing to do is to um, check for duplicate, right? And so in this line, while left is less than right, which which um, which is our condition and left, so current, the updated left, if updated left is equal to number of left minus one, then we want to update the left pointer, meaning if two numbers are, if current number and old number are the same, then we're gonna update the left, so we will get a new new number, new, new pointer. And we'll do the same thing on the right side, um, in right, right pointer here right equals nums right plus one and right minus minus so this would remove all the duplicates you'll see in the nums array okay so else if sum is greater than zero meaning that it's um it's higher than what we expected that means we want to subtract from the right so um, so this is really where the sorting really comes into play. Um, you're guaranteed that uh, bumping the right pointer one, um, decreasing right pointer by one, you're guaranteed to, to get a smaller number. Likewise here, if sum is greater than z uh, less than zero, um, so number can only be greater, equal, or less, right? Then we can say left plus plus meaning we'll bump one left pointer to one by one that means we'll get a greater number right uh, and then when all this is done our result should have all the unique triplets in there let's run it boom oh so you'll see we got a problem here uh, so you can see that we have a duplicate here. Uh, this is not what we wanted, right? 
Where where can where can this go wrong? We did check for duplicates here when left and right are right, um, in the right conditions, right boundary. But it looks like uh, we miss a duplicate check somewhere. Um, as it turns out, as it turns out, uh, we also need to check duplicate for the I, as well. So we want to make sure that we are grabbing the the. Uh, the unique i that's different than my previous uh, the number at index i so here you can see i equals numbers i minus one then we'll just say continue because in the for loop when you say continue it, it would not continue uh, it would it wouldn't execute line after no, line number 14 so it will just bump the i by one so we will get a new index and then we'll do the check uh, one more time that means um, we will every time you have i that means you, you'll be a unique number that's different than what the previous number was so let's run it as you can see it did remove the duplicates and if you submit it you'll see um, 71 percentile uh, and 100 160 millisecond which is okay um, if you like this video and want to see more like this please like this video for youtube algorithm and subscribe to my channel for more future content thank you guys and have a great day